Hello everybody, today I'm going to be talking about one of my more recent purchases. Um, I bought it probably six months ago. I purchased the BRS, the Bulk Reef Supply, dual reactor. Uh, it's got a chamber for GFO and a chamber for carbon. And I have to say, I'm very happy with it. It was very reasonably priced. I don't remember what I paid for it, but I think it was like 50 bucks, 60 bucks. And it is great. It works wonderfully. Haven't had any problems with it whatsoever. Um, what I will say is anyone who's going to start running GFO in a reef tank, start off with half of what they recommend when you start off. And that means what they normally recommend is they recommend that you start off with half of the dose that you're gonna, that you would run normally on a tank to acclimate corals and everything to having that lower level of phosphates. What I would say is take what they recommend you start off with, which is half of a normal dose, and start off with half of that, if not less. Um, when I first started running GFO in the tank, it I, I lost some corals because it did drop too fast. It drops phosphates too fast, even at half of the recommended dose. And what I would do is I actually would do a couple of water changes that same week before I even put the reactor on, just to naturally lower the phosphate levels a little bit, and then start off with half of half of a dose. So start off with a quarter or less of a full dose. And you should be okay from there. Um, if I talk to some of my friends who've been in the hobby a little bit longer than me before I started, I probably wouldn't have had the problem I had when I lost any corals because even they told me, oh yeah, start off with start off with between an eighth and a quarter of what they recommend because you know, you have your tank. You have to get your tank used to running GFO. Otherwise, you're going to lose some stuff. So, but now that I've been running GFO for a while, I still only run half of the recommended dose. My tank doesn't have a high nutrient load anyway. Um, I've only got a handful of fish, and I, I have a lot. You know, mostly corals. So, I run half of the uh, recommended uh, amount of GFO, and I run the entire recommended uh, amount of activated carbon. Uh, I use the BRS Rocks the ROX activated carbon. Um, it's it's the best carbon I've seen and the best carbon I've used so far. It's great stuff. But when you set up your GFO reactor, you want a light tumble. As you can see, you don't want it to to dance around too much. You don't want it to go absolutely crazy in there because it will basically grind up the GFO and you'll end up with a lot of fines and powder that can actually get through the uh, the the carbon chamber and work its way into your tank and you don't you don't want that you don't want any GFO resin floating around in your tank if you can avoid it so if you guys have any questions about the BRS reactor um, <clears throat> please feel free to ask in the comments and I will get back to you guys as soon as I can uh, Thank you guys for watching, and you guys have a great day.